me, Kevin Keys, or now Shrinking Keys. I changed uh, the name of my page because I'm going to separate everything. As some of you know, I do music, I like to cook, I like to uh, do all kinds of other stuff. And I'm going to separate everything so you guys will know what's what and just keep it organized. But today, you're speaking or hanging out with shrinking keys. Yes. <laughs> and sorry for the crazy setup. Um, I'm on the tablet today. And I normally don't ever use this. Like, uh, I just ordered my camera. Um, I usually use my phone to do just quick videos. Like, I have been off of YouTube for a minute now haven't been able to really give you guys a proper video so I'm trying with the tablet today uh, my camera should be here uh, in a few days I um I can't even remember what camera it is I think it's, it's a Canon Canon something s s something 710 I don't know why I didn't have that information ready for you guys, I do not know. But anyways, I just researched the um, most inexpensive, popular uh, vlogging cameras for YouTube. And that one came up. So, well, a few of them came up. So, I did my research and blah, blah, blah. Found which one I liked the most. And I bought it. So, good morning. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yes. Um, so, I want to share with you guys what I'm doing um, what I'm going to start doing because I had a little delay. I was supposed to start this Monday. Um, I've been doing a ketogenic diet for a few months now. Since January. On and off because you know me. I had some cheat days and I fell off. I had to get back on the horse again and yada yada. Um, so I've been doing a ketogenic diet and I dropped about oh, a good 20 pounds. But I lost a bunch of inches and I wish that I would have tracked kept track of all those inches that I lost because it's crazy. It looks like I lost 30 pounds, 20, 40 pounds, but I really think I lost, a, a, actually I think it's probably like 18 pounds, but it looks like I lost more than that. Um, but with the ketogenic diet, it's pretty much a high fat, low carb diet. So you're consuming a lot of, um, healthy fats like avocados, uh, nuts and like uh, well not a whole bunch of nuts but any kind of healthy fat you're consuming that with a lot of you know green veggies um cheeses uh uh eggs there's so many good foods that you can have on the diet it's it's a really good balanced diet and i really enjoy it um however i still have issues with my portion control even though the ketogenic diet works um, and it's really good for healing the body, especially if you have uh, sore, achy joints and things like that, uh, achy muscles, um, diabetes, uh, PCOS, it is known to heal a lot of these diseases and, you know, it, it's a really great diet. You still have to watch your portion control if you want to see some weight loss. A lot of people are losing up to 100 pounds in a year on this way of eating. I'm not going to call it a diet. I'll try not to call it a diet. But it's called a way of, eat, a way of eating because people, you know, they completely transform their style of eating to this style. To the ketogenic style or way of eating and you know they that it's not a diet to them anymore it's just a, a lifestyle so that's what I'm hoping to accomplish but um, I've also had success with the um, eat right for your blood type way of eating too or diet um, and that is a diet where you eat certain foods that um, are they're like an agreement with your blood type like there are actually certain foods that people with certain blood types shouldn't eat and it's pretty crazy my uh, fiance did it a few years back maybe like maybe probably almost 10 years ago and he lost like 120 pounds 120 pounds he was he got he got, got pretty heavy he got up to I think he said 380s he was in the 380s um 
and you know he just he originally got the book for his mother to do um you know she was getting older and you know having some health issues and he had came across this book that someone recommended to him and um she ended up not doing using the book so he ended up you know taking it tried it out and before you knew it, he was down 120 pounds, and he didn't even realize it. He said, like, one day his family, I think his mom actually came in and was like, uh, do you see, why are your clothes hanging off of you like that? Your clothes are just hanging. And he just, like, looked in the mirror and just realized, oh, my gosh, <laughs> they are. And he had lost, like, 120 pounds doing the, um, the blood type diet. So, I... And going to try to incorporate both the eat right for your blood type diet and the ketogenic diet together. And it's, it's not going to be easy because there's going to be a lot of foods that are going to be eliminated for me. But I really want to try this and see how it works because I've had success with the ketogenic diet. But I think my success could be a little better. Um... I just felt like I, I felt like I wasn't losing the weight as fast as I could have or as I should have. And, you know, I've tried hard not to compare myself to other people's weight loss success and stuff. Because, you, you know, you shouldn't do that. That's bad. Don't do that. Everyone's different. Everyone loses weight differently. Everyone gains weight differently. Just You just don't want to compare yourself to other people. That's the worst thing you could do. So I was, I was, <laughs> I was trying not to do that. But I just felt like I could I could be losing the weight faster. And of course, you know, if I could stop with the uh, occasional cheats and, you know, little things like that, treats and the little, you know, <laughs> things that like to sneak up on you in the middle of the night. Oh, there's a muffin that uh, someone left. Huh. Hmm, piece of chocolate. Dude, you can have dark chocolate on the ketogenic diet, but... You just have to be careful. But anyways, if I could get <laughs> the cheating and the portion control under, you know, if I could get that in control, I'll be okay. But I want to incorporate the Eat Right for Your butt Blood Type Diet and the Ketogenic Diet. So I have two books here. One of them is uh, a type O. This is a blood type um, O book and this is a B. I'm blood type B. My fiance, he's blood type O. So you can actually get these books on Amazon or at your local Barnes & Noble, Borders Books. Um, and it actually tells you, they have a, they have one, oh, look at, I'm looking at, I'm looking off. There you are. <laughs> they actually have a big book that has all of the blood types listed and what kind of foods you could have, recipes. Um, it, it, it is so detailed. It even, it even goes down to what kind of vitamins you should take seasonings um it's great this little book they make the little ones so you could keep them with you you know in your purse gym bag wherever that way you can it's like a little bible like a little <laughs> a little um eating guide so you can always keep track of you know what you can and cannot eat when you're out and about um okay so let me see let me go through one of these and i want to get i'm going to link um I'm going to give you guys a link to the um, uh, website for the Eat Right for Your Blood Type Diet. It's actually by Dr. Peter J. D. Adamo. And it's called Eat Right for Your Type. Actually, Eat Right for Your Type. And um, they have a bunch of information. And this stuff really, it makes sense. I mean, it gives a lot of good explanations as to why. I mean, now... Uh, for me, I know it has to be a reason because there's a lot of foods that I'm finding that are on my avoid list in this book that I'm actually already allergic to. So I probably shouldn't be eating them anyways. Like tomatoes. Tomatoes I'm not supposed to have. They have lectins in them. And um, I got to continue to, you know, I got to go back and do some more research on exactly what a lectin is and all of that. But whatever his lectin thing is, it's bad for me. Avocados. Um, I can't have those. What else? There was something else I can't have, but I've, I'm already allergic to those. So I was like, wait a minute. I'm not even supposed to be eating those according to my blood type. 
I'm not supposed to have avocados, tomatoes, um, chicken. Chicken is another one. Although, chicken doesn't really bother me when I eat it, but it has the lectins. Let's see what a lectin is. A lectin. Okay, lectin. What? Okay. A lectin is any any of a class of proteins, chiefly of plant origin, that bind specifically to certain sugars and so cause a glucination a agglutination of particular cell types. Hmm. So yeah. Whatever that is, the lectin and how whatever it does to me um in my body is is not good. So uh, and there's a lot of foods I found in this book that have lectins. Um, huh. Anyways, you know, I'll do my own further research on exactly what a lectin is. But anyways, I found like, okay, I'm, I'm allergic to some of this stuff and I'm not even supposed to be eating it in the first place according to the blood type. So this really, that really, um, like turned on a light bulb for me. And actually I did the blood type diet, um, a few years ago along with, um, juicing smoothies, you know, I did the vegetable smoothies, juices, and I lost a lot. I lost about, uh, 50 pounds doing that and I didn't even know either I didn't even know it's just like one day I looked up and I was like oh shoot uh, I don't even think I was exercising maybe walking but I wasn't doing much um but I really want to try to incorporate both of these diets but I'm going to give you guys an example of some of the things as me or as a type b blood type or if you're type b I'm going to give you an example of what some of the <laughs> highly uh beneficial foods um, you know, listed here that you could have because they class it, they break it down into highly beneficial. Sorry, you can't see that. Highly beneficial, neutral, and an avoid list. And they say to treat the highly beneficial foods as a medicine, treat the neutral foods as just regular food, and treat the avoid list as if it were a disease. So, for me, this is meat protein. Okay. I'm already, I'm not a super picky eater, but, um, I don't, you know, I'm funny with meats. Okay, so this is my highly beneficial list for protein. Goat. Lamb. Mutton. Rabbit. And venison. What the heck? I... I don't even think, I think I've only had, well, okay, no, I've had goat and lamb before. I've never had rabbit. Venison, I believe, is deer. Never had that. Never had mutton. What the heck is mutton? Ugh. No, that is not, I'm not eating that. <laughs> I'm not eating that, do you hear me? I'll try the lamb every now and then. It, like, if it's um right the right cut of lamb, I'll I'll eat it. But it's really, this this meat here, this highly beneficial meat is really not my thing. So, I'm going to gear more to, I'm going to steer more towards the neutral list. So, listen, this is what's on the neutral list for type B blood type. Beef. Buffalo. I've had buffalo before. It's really good. Liver. I love liver. Ostrich. No. Pheasant. Turkey. And veal. Now, that's. More like <laughs> what I'm talking, what you know, what I prefer. I love beef, buffalo, turkey. I've had most of this meat. I never had ostrich. I didn't even know people ate those. I guess you could really eat whatever, but ostrich, that's just weird. Pheasant is kind of like a wild chicken slash turkey thing. Um, veal is pretty much beef, I believe. It's just young, young calf, cow, calf, young calf meat. So... All right, on my avoid list, now listen to this. This really sucks, okay? Really sucks. Especially when I when it t comes time to incorporating this with the ketogenic diet. My avoid list, the first meat, bacon. Bacon, man. <gasps> bacon. And the only reason I can't have it is because it's pork. 
Pork is on the avoid list. That's the next one. So bacon, pork, chicken, Cornish hen, duck, goose, grouse, guinea hen, ham, ham, bleh, heart, horse, horse, partridge, quail, squab, squirrel, and turtle. But bacon, I can't have bacon. I think I can have beef bacon, though. Beef bacon is really good. If you haven't had beef bacon, you should try it. It almost tastes like a pastrami. But if you cook it up nice and crunchy, you get a nice bacony taste. It, I mean, it tastes like bacon. It's just a little, um, hmm, it's the same texture. I, it just, to me, it tastes more like pastrami. I don't know. It's very good, though. Um, but yeah, so no bacon for me. No bacon. No chicken. No ham. Uh, no pork. All the other stuff I never ate anyway, so. Can't believe they have horse meat on there. That's terrible. Who would want to eat a horse? These beautiful creatures. It's, be it's beautiful and majestic and just great of a creature that they are. Why would you want to eat a horse? That must be... I don't even want to talk about it. But anyways. <laughs> okay, so that's an example of the meat for a type B. Okay? Now, there are other blood types. I think type B and O, which happen to be these two, are the um, the top two blood types that have the better menu for, <laughs> you know, what types of foods to eat. Um, type A, I think, is one of the harder menus because their diet steers more to veg like vegan or vegetarian they uh, a lot of vegetables um soy they they a lot of they actually i don't think they get to eat a lot of meat and if it is it's like fish or seafood stuff like that so there's um there's uh a lot of vegetables fruits and more ve more vegetarian vegan um lifestyle for them now me I can't have a lot of seafood. You guys know I love shrimp, lobster, crab, all of that. I can't have any kind of shellfish. No kind of shellfish, but I can have cod, flounder, haddock. It's a lot of fish I could have. I can't have scallops, mackerel, sturgeon. Um, I told you to avoid anchovies. I never liked those anyway. Barracuda, bass, beluga, butterfish, clam. Conch, crab, crayfish, oysters, polack, eel, frog, shrimp, lobster, snail, lox, trout, mussels, turtle, octopus, and yellowtail. I can't have none of those. That's okay, though. That's okay. You know what the good thing is? Every blue moon, you can treat yourself to a nice cheat meal. That's the part I got to get under control. If I could limit that to just maybe once a month, I could do this. I think I really believe I can do this. So, <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a link. If you're interested in learning more about this eat right for your blood type um, diet, I'll put a, um, a link in the description box for you so you can look it up yourself and do some research and see what you think. Now, the good thing for type Bs is they get to have... Uh, dairy is really like highly beneficial for them so on my highly beneficial list for dairy I can have cottage cheese farmer cheese feta goat cheese kefir milk uh, from the cow and goat uh, mozzarella ricotta yogurt um, butter eggs ghee provolone oh it's a lot of good cheeses I'm a cheese person I love cheese I find that this diet actually it, it kind of suits the way I like to eat kind of already I love cheese and uh, oh my gosh I sometimes I prefer cheese over meat sometimes <laughs> but um I, I you know I was like oh this this kind of fits me you know the way I already eat but the the seafood thing kind of killed me and the bacon thing that that really killed me but it's okay like I said, once in a while, won't hurt anything. Um, yeah, but you guys should really just go and check this out. See what you think. I'm going to try to incorporate it with a ketogenic diet or a low carb. So I'll I'll just be I'll call it like a um, low carb blood type diet. So 
for type B, we're already encouraged not to consume a lot of breads, pastas, and grains. So, the highly beneficial list for any kind of grain or, or bread um, is rice. They prefer you to have rice bran, puffed rice, rice milk, rice cakes, um, oatmeal, oat bran, millet, essen bread, and spelt. Whatever the heck that is. Um, neutrals, barley, cream of rice, Ezekiel bread. I don't know if any of you have had ever had Ezekiel bread. That stuff is, ugh. Uh, I can't even describe. It's just like this extra dry, sprouty, ugh. Uh, granola we could have. We can have um, quinoa, which is good. Rice bread. Oh my gosh, rice bread. That's even worse. Ugh. Uh. I bought some, I took a bite, and the way it breaks down in your mouth, it's almost like you're eating a whole bunch of just sand. Like you just put a whole bunch of sand in your mouth, and it's like you can't ever get it out of your mouth. <laughs> Once you swallow it, it's still like you're sitting there trying to get all the little grains of rice bread out from, you know, between your teeth and under your gums. Every It's, it's terrible. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. Now, rice flour was good. I used to use that already for, like, frying things, but we're going to steer away from that, too. But, guys, just go check it out. Check it out, you know, in your own time. See what you think. Just look it up. Look up the list. See what you're... If you know your blood type, if you know your blood type, <laughs> look it up. I'm going to put the link um, down below. Just kind of see what kind of foods... Um, that they recommend for you and just, you know, just kind of compare it to your, um, your everyday, uh, diet and see if it, if, if anything is, uh, compatible or whatever. I already took the liberty of writing down some of the top, like the top 10 foods for each blood type. And I don't know if you guys want me to list. What I'll do, I'll write this in the description box because I don't want this video to be too long. We're already hitting like 20 minutes now. So, I already got a list of the top 10 meat, meats or foods in general for each blood type to avoid. That's blood type A, there's blood type AB, there's blood type O, and blood type B, which is me. So, I'll write down the top 10 um, foods for you in my description box so you can look it up. And, and just check it out. See, you know, it's, it's really interesting. And if you do just read up on the the gener the basic information in this book. Like the big book, it has so much information. It tells you why these foods are bad for your, for your blood type, what it does to you. Um, it even gives a, let's see, it even gives an amount, of, uh, it gives you a portion like for certain um your ancestry is like so if you're Caucasian or African there's certain amounts of portions of certain meat and poultry and stuff that you're supposed to eat daily I mean it's really detailed and you know you don't have to follow that but it's just really interesting the way they have this book um, laid out it even goes um, it tells you your strengths and weaknesses medical risks, diet profile um, foods for, uh, that, you know, for weight, extreme weight loss, supplements you should take, and exercises. Like for me, since I'm a, a type B, we require moderate physical exercise with a mental component, such as hiking, cycling, tennis, and swimming. And that makes sense to me. I've always loved, like, something to challenge my mind. Um, I love to play tennis. I love swimming. Uh, when I was a kid, that's all I did was ride my bike, climb trees, uh, we, uh, rollerblade, um, anything that, that was challenging. I, I was very competitive, um, but the whole mental component, like that, that got me because that, 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 it, that explained to me, that especially like when, you know, when I was a kid and everything with the whole physical, you know, physical, uh, Physical activity, climbing trees and stuff like that. I would never do that now, but the whole tennis thing and swimming, yes, definitely. But you guys got to look this up. It's it's really it's really informative, and I 
think this can really help a lot of people. I really do believe this this um, way of eating can help a lot of people, especially healing the body. But if you combine it with a low carb, high fat diet, you might be onto something pretty great. So I'm going to be the test dummy and see how this works. If I can stick to it, guys, we'll see what my progress is. If not, then you know, hey, I tried, right? So this is hard. Losing this weight is very hard. And it seemed like every time I would try to get back on track, something would pop up and just, you know, mess it up for me. The first attempt, my dad my dad passed away. Another attempt, I, what, we end up moving. It's just so much. <laughs> Life throws so many, you know, it just throws so many hurdles at you. It's not even funny, but we just have to keep jumping over them and, and keep on running in the race. Um, so if you guys are still on your weight loss journeys on the, uh, you know, I just encourage you to keep on going. Don't give up. It's a journey. I got to keep reminding myself it's a journey. It's not like I'm going to, you know, go to sleep and wake up one day in a dream body where I'm wearing a bikini and all this, you know, with a Gabrielle Union body or whatever. No, <laughs> it's going to take some time because Kevy like to eat so much when she was younger. Kevy didn't like to... Well, I, I was very physical, you know. I used to be do track and all that. But after high school, Kevy liked to eat a lot and not exercise a lot. Kev, you know, I just let myself go. And although, you know, I lost all the weight and gained it back, lost it all, gained it back, I never was able to just keep it off. I think the, the longest I kept my weight off since I've been a, an adult has been like five years which is not bad that's not bad i was able to keep my weight at a moderate weight which was good for me which was like 160 160 i believe that was a good weight for me i liked the way i looked i felt good in my skin you know i could i could move i could bend down i could run up the stairs no issues but uh being over 200 pounds is not good not good at all and it's time to get under 200 and get back into the wonderland. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. So I hope you follow me. And, you know, I'm going to try to post weekly. So I said I, I have my camera coming finally after so long. Finally getting this camera and, you know, learning how to use all of this equipment and stuff. So hopefully I'll have some nice video footage for you guys coming soon. Um, so yep, yeah, you guys keep on the, keep on the journey. Don't give up. Um, just stay strong, stay positive, surround yourselves with people who are positive or in that or on the same road as you, you know, you're always going to have somebody that's going to be negative. And most of the time it's a family member or somebody close. Just don't listen to what they say. Somebody may make a little comment or something. They're just being funny or just being silly. And, you know, it may really hurt you. Ignore that junk. Just ignore it and just move on. You know, it's like whatever, you know. I'm doing me. I'm on a journey. You know, I'm not going to let your little silly comments get to me and throw me off what I'm trying to accomplish. Just stay focused. All right, guys. So I hope you have a lovely day. Oh, I didn't show you. Oh, I did show you my smoothie, right? I made this. I keep looking over here. My green smoothie. It has a lot of stuff in it. Um, it has uh, spinach. Um, oh, gosh. Spinach, ginger, chia seeds. Um, I didn't have blueberries today. It has some green vegetable powder stuff I put in there. A little protein powder. Um, Turmeric. Uh, flaxseed, um, a little bit of walnuts in there, um, gosh, a few other yummy things, really healthy. I gotta keep looking here, I need to put like a little red dot here so I, I remember to look there. Mm. It's good. <clears throat> I put a little bit too much walnuts in there though. You know what? Let me double check and make sure I can have walnuts. Now, I know everything else I can have, but 
I just threw the walnuts into the... Let's see. Oh, I can. I can. I can. Oh, my gosh. It's highly beneficial. Black walnut. Highly beneficial, baby. <laughs> Anyways. So, okay. Check out this stuff. And tell me what you think. Comment. Let me know what you think about it. And if you're interested in trying it. If I... Uh, we'll see. If you're interested in trying it, maybe uh, I have a few of other books I have two more of these and the big book so if you're very interested in trying it let me know I might send you one just so you can have it um yeah but you could get this anywhere at your bookstore it's about it ranges like six seven bucks so and, and Amazon has it too so but yeah um write in the comments if you're really interested um I might send you one you guys have a wonderful day and we will chat later. <laughs> Alright guys, God bless. Bye-bye.